Hey guys, what's up? This is Doctorian, and I want to talk to you guys about a new uh, series I'm going to make on my YouTube channel. It's called How to Tank. Because on the special Guardian uh, video I made, I had a comment from somebody who said, um, I want to get into tanking, I'm new into tanking, but I don't know how to tank all the bosses in heroic mode and all that kind of stuff. And I looked around on the internet and I couldn't, could not find anything. And this got me thinking, and I was like, why the hell not? Um, so that commentary made me think about um, made I made the decision to start making a guide about all the hero dungeons thinking them as a prop paladin um, and I'll get to do that in a moment why I'm doing that as a prop paladin but I'm going to um, this uh, explain all the bosses go over um, trash what is important um, if we run into scenarios that um, trash is not uh, important. I will skip that, and will be. Uh, I will. Some dungeons maybe have no, not really important trash. So we will go uh, from boss to boss. I will edit those videos, but I'm going to basically the most. What I'm going to do is um, give live commentary because I could voice over everything, uh, but then I have to write down why I did some uh, or remember stuff. Why did I do that? Why did I position them in this case over here and all that kind of stuff and I need to rewatch that video over and over again to make the commentary work. But it's better that I make a live commentary so you can see what is going through my mind at that moment. Um, I think that's better for the quality instead of voicing over and trying to remember why I'm doing stuff. So um, I'm going to live commentary everything and uh, the prop paladin. The reason I'm not doing this on my Guardian Druid is because, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cough. Is because I can make my prop paladin uh, work with a lot of passives, and since I'm doing live commentary, I want to um, focus on the commentary I'm doing and not as much on the rotation. And with uh, Garden Druid, I have to watch the timers of my savage defense and my pulverize and all that kind of stuff. And with uh, a prop paladin, usually I use Seraphim, but for the Heroic dungeons and uh, stuff. I'm gonna go with holy shields, so, uh, so I have a passive. Gonna use light hammer for uh, the AOE. Gonna use define por uh, purpose just for the procs. And I'm setting up a basically a really prop paladin right now with this setup. It's not the best setup. It's it's good enough for <coughs> heroic dungeons. Um, so I don't have to think much about my rotation. I can focus on doing the live commentary. That's why I'm picking my prop paladin. Um, the next step after the Heroic Dungeons, I want to do the LFRs. I might do LFR with my Guardian Druid. Kind of depends uh, what I want to do with my Paladin because I still need to... Uh, this guy needs still some gear for the Holy Guide, so it kind of depends on what I'm going to do. But I'm planning also to doing all the LFRs um, and how to tank videos about all the bosses and stuff. Um, I know Fat Boss is doing all the uh, normal Heroic and Mythic Guides and it's not about that. It's just I want to make it easier for you guys to, to step in first time tanking heroic dungeons, first time you step into LFR. If you're getting into normal heroic and mythic rating, you can watch Fat Boss, but by then you ha will have a um, decent amount of tanking experience that you can go on your own merry way. So, the first step is, of course, is how to get into heroic dungeons, and, and that means we have to do this. We have to do the proving grants. So, we're going to start out with that. I'm going to grab a hellstone. And we're gonna start out with bronze, so here we go. Start oh shit, this is the I yield. That was the damage. I'm not gonna do damage with a prop paladin. Lol, what a misclick. Um basic tanking bronze. There we go. So here we go. Incoming illusions, that's the first one. Let's pick it up using our Avenger shield. And the first thing you need to learn as a tank is to always face everything away from your group from group. This is also for in dungeons, this is basically for everything. You face everything away from your group. And there we go. Now we have two, we're gonna pick them up. Again, we're gonna turn around, use some of our AOE abilities since we have 
two targets over here. Okay, he's done. I'm gonna finish him off as well. This is the bronze is extremely easy, and you should have no problems getting through bronze. It's no challenge at all for me personally. Uh, I don't know how about you guys, but you should have no problems. So we have seven seconds. Always keep an eye on your surroundings. Is something happening? Am I not aware of something? It's also always kind of important. Now we have a group, so I'm gonna pick up this group. I'm gonna Face them away again. Make sure you keep your active mitigation always up. No, if it's shield of the righteous or um, shield barrier, shield block, or savage defense, make sure you keep it up at all times. Got a lot of procs. That's good. And there we go. Easy times. Five more seconds to wait. And here we go. Next group we have a small group and a big group. We're seeing here that one is on our caster slash healer. So we're gonna taunt him off. We're gonna drag these guys over here. Keep our active mitigation up. And just face everything away. Rinse and repeat. This is bronze is really easy. You can't you can't miss out on bronze. Keep using your AOE abilities until the small ones are dead, then focus with single target on the big one. And you're gonna be fine, it's gonna be no props. And there he goes. One more wing to go. And it's so boring. <laughs> so much time between the waves. Here we got another group. We got th three big ones now. Throw down our AOE on the ground again, because there are three big ones. Now the first trick you guys want to know, especially, is that you don't want to tank ever, because you're a healer. You never want to be out of line of sight. If you're over here, you cannot be healed. That wall is in between me and my healer, so you never want to make that mistake. So you want to pick up everything, tank it face away, turn around. There you go. This way you can always get healed. And look, we got another group. We're gonna pick them up straight off the bat. Bring them over here. Throw some consecration down here. Alright, if you're dropping like me, you can pop a cooldown. You not necessarily have to, but keep an eye on it. Better safe than sorry. Keep our, our active mitigation. Keeping everything faced away like we should. We could have used an offensive cooldown here, and normally, uh, yeah, I could have used my light hammer, but since this is the last wave, I don't need to worry. I'm gonna do silver uh, after this one, so I'm gonna keep the cooldown. And there we go, bronze. So, guys, this was the um, introduction to how to tank video and uh, the bronze proving guns. I will see you on the next video, and that's gonna be the silver proving gun. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye.